There's a part in Batman Begins where Alfred asks Bruce, Why bats? And Bruce responds, Bats frighten me. It's time my enemies share my dread. Well, recursion is my bats, and you all are, uh, my enemies? No, wait, this analogy doesn't work very well, sorry. But it's true that recursion scares me. Or at the very least, it confuses me, and a common reaction to confusion is fear. Recently, I had cause to use recursion a bunch in some code work I was doing, and it reminded me that A, recursion is tremendously powerful, and B, the best way to stop being confused by something is by repeated exposure. Every time I work with recursion, it makes a little more sense. So even though we already covered it back in JS Quick Hits 46 and JS Quick Hits 47, let's do a refresher lesson, shall we? Today we're going to iterate over an array full of arrays, which may also contain arrays, and use that data to build a tree. Here's our data array. So that's a bit of a complicated data set, right? We have multiple nested arrays with three entries each. Though array entries aren't named, we're following a pattern, a name string, a URL string, and a children array. It's this rigid pattern that's going to make recursion work for us. We want to build out HTML that's going to look like this. For the sake of expediency, pretend that I'm putting all the URLs in here. We can do this with an extremely simple recursive function. It'll basically go, open the UL, look at the array, build the li and a tags, and then if the children array has a length greater than zero, rerun the function on the child array. If not, close the li tag, and if there's no more items in the array, close the UL. I realize hearing that out loud is really difficult to understand, but we'll step through it. The key to understanding how the recursion will work is that it always drills down until it can't anymore and then it works its way back up. So it'll open up the first UL, make an li tag, make an a tag, insert dogs, and then see that the children array has entries and rerun the function on those entries. The top level function will not finish until the sub function has finished. Same deal with the sub function. It will not finish if there are sub sub functions to run. I have to get rid of this, but basically we're gonna be doing this. See how long it takes for that first function to finally end? That's because recursion is busy diving down and doing its thing. With all that in mind, let's take a look at the code. And let's delete this. I know this is complicated. For the sake of speed in this video, I'm not going to comment everything, but if you go to the actual tutorial, which is linked in the description, there's a version of this function that actually has full comments on what all of the different lines are doing. So let's save that, and then let's actually use it. Save again, refresh, and we have a problem. With no error, my favorite kind of JavaScript problem. Uh, of course, inner HTML is spelled with capital letters. Hey, all right. Now, I'm pretty positive that if you're new to recursion, this one tutorial isn't going to suddenly make you a complete master. It's a really tough concept to wrap your brain around. I had to rewrite that function multiple times when I was first building this tutorial just to get it right, and I just did a similar exercise like two weeks before I wrote this tutorial. The key is to not get frustrated. Once you get the basics, then you can put together a function, see that it doesn't work, and begin tweaking it until it does. As you grow more and more confident, your functions will require less tweaking to get them to a working state. This building up of knowledge through practice is the amazing process we humans refer to as learning. And while it's sometimes painful, it's virtually always worthwhile. 
Have you got something you're struggling with and on which you'd like me to do a short tutorial? Don't hesitate to reach out by replying to the newsletter or leaving a comment on YouTube or joining the Closed Brace public Slack workspace. I'll link that in the description too. See you next week.